हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग सो आई एम कवरिंग टॉप 25 फाइव इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज इन कर्नाटका विच आर द गुड ऑप्शन इन टर्म्स ऑफ देयर प्लेसमेंट देर आर ओवरऑल रैंकिंग एंड सो आई एम स्टार्टिंग फर्स्ट विद एन आई आर एफ रैंकिंग सो सो दे आर आर ट्वेंटी थ्री कॉलेज एंड आई हैव ऑलरेडी स्पोकन अबाउट दैम एंड दे आर टॉप नॉच ऑप्शन सो एन आई टी सूरत कल वी टी यू बेलगाम एम मनीपाल एंड इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी बैंगलोर एंड एम एस रामा यार लाइक सो दे हैव द एन एन आर एफ रैंकिंग्स अंडर सेवेंटी फाइव सिमिलरली आई हैव स्पोकन अबाउट दिस कॉलेज लाइक क्राइस्ट यूनिवर्सिटी जैन यूनिवर्सिटी टू ऑफ द डीम्ड यूनिवर्सिटीज विच वे आर under 100 and apart from that rv college of engineering and siddhanga also ranked under 100 now in the rank of the band of 101 to 150 three colleges iit dharwad you know nmit and pes university both the campuses put together so they have got this ranking band after that in 151 to 200 rankings you have bms college of engineering and uh, CMRIT, KL University, Belgaum, New Horizon College, Bangalore, and Nite University, which is in Udupi, as well as uh, NI Mysore, all in the band of you know one fifty one to two hundred, and then the colleges which are there you know between two hundred to two hundred and one to three hundred ranks, which are like BMS IT, Bangalore, Dhanan Sagar College, JSS Science and Technology University, Mysore, PES College of Engineering, Mandya. and the last one which was ranked is reva university so total 23 colleges have already got the nirf ranking so now i am going to talk also about 27 other colleges which are there in different parts of karnataka which are not ranked but which are making into top 50 so if you are considering colleges in mangalore there there are three good options like sahadri college of engineering scem st joseph engineering college SJC, SJEC, and Mangalore Institute of Technology and Engineering (MIT), and all of these colleges are basically autonomous engineering college and have shown the decent placement record in last few years. So they have a decent amount of you know student life as well, and you can look into this college options if you are looking to study in top fifty colleges. now i will talk the other colleges from north karnataka which were not ranked but those are also good option to study like kls gokte in belgaum sdm college of engineering and technology in dharwad keli ms sheshagiri campus which is in belgaum and bec bagal which is basaveshwara engineering college in bagalkot and bitm bellari which is ballari institute of technology and management and then ubdt university bdt college of engineering in davangere so this have also shown the decent placement trend and those are the good options available for students who are also trying from the north karnataka so these six options are there which were not ranked now talking about the two colleges which uh, should be there from the mysore also so vidyavardhaka college of engineering in uh, uh, mysore which is autonomous college and has shown the decent placement over the Yeah, and then next one is G Triple S I E T W, which is G Triple S College of you know Engineering for Women. So this is women only specific college, but has shown the very good placement record. So this will also come in Mysore part of the story. Now I will cover the sixteen colleges which are there from the uh, Bangalore region, right? Which is the highest number which could be there in the top fifty. But again, these colleges we are not given the NIRF ranking, but they are the excellent options. So the first miss I will tell is U University, Vishwasriya College of Engineering, Bangalore, UVCE, which is good college in terms of placement and recognition and everything, but it will you know lacks in lot of you know infrastructure facilities and the you know visibility and currently only accepts KSET mode of admission. So it's in the process of revival, but the revival is very slow and still could cannot make into the NIRF ranking. The next college is like BIT, which is Bangalore Institute Technology, one of the old established college, and has got the excellent placement records. And it's now autonomous engineering college also, but it failed to make a you know a, into NRF ranking. And some of the reasons is the campus itself is very small, you know the girls hostel and the other facilities. 
are lacking campus is small but the placements are all excellent right next is rv institute technology and management again the same you know rv group college placements are excellent uh, as it has a you know joint placement with rv call a uh, college and campus itself is very small this is a new college so new colleges cannot be considered for the nrf ranking right next one is rns it bangalore so good news is that this college is also become autonomous from this year and it's it has shown the good placement records and uh, this is also very good option in bangalore next you are talking about bnm it which is bnm institute technology in bangalore and this is also an autonomous engineering college and good option in bangalore to consider cons is that the campus is relatively smaller next college is uh, sir mvit bangalore it's a very old and established college the only cons is that this college has not even become autonomous and most of the colleges have, are are now already the autonomous college right so otherwise placements are good and you can consider this also at in bangalore next is dhanan sagar academy of technology and management which is not autonomous college and also decent option dr ambedkar institute technology in bangalore which has become autonomous engineering college from this year so this is also a good option and can be considered in top 50 colleges jss academy of technology technical education jss at bangalore part of the jss group decent option in bangalore but this college has yet not become an autonomous college so this is also can be considered in top 50 next college is sjb it which is sjb institute technology in bangalore again uh, autonomous engineering college in bangalore and decent option you can consider for a kset comet k admission then you have ms ramaya university of applied sciences again the private university under karnataka act and it has also a decent option to make it in top 50 best colleges in karnataka moving further you have cambridge institute of technology the main campus which has now become autonomous engineering college and is also a decent option to make in the top 50 college list dhanan sagar university again the private university in bangalore part of dhanan sagar group and then the new entry which is rv university which is part of rv group this is a new college this has not shown any placement record but given the it is going to have a common placement with rv college of engineering it will also show an excellent placement fee in the future right so similar to rv itm rv university is going to show the better future and uh, that is why it shows the uh, cutoff which is very high and placements will be as good as uh, when we go ahead right and then presidency university you know again large number of seats are there but you know placement wise also it makes into top 50 colleges in karnataka and the last college on the list I am considering is MVJ College of Engineering. It's a old established autonomous engineering college and has got the decent placement, but uh, it does not take admission through Comet K admission process. K set, uh, it's part of the K set admission process. So that's all I have to cover in this particular video. Thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar updates. Take care and bye.